All right, the final four men in this extra dramatic season of The Bachelorette got to take Becca back to their roots this week, and boy, was it hard to watch sometimes. Here with a recap of the hometown dates and a couple new revelations is Leslie from 106.3 The Groove. Welcome back. Thank you. So you want to talk about some predictions first? Uh, well, because I predicted yesterday on my show, I have a new front runner, uh, which was Blake from yeah. previews I had seen. Uh, and I had predicted that my original front runner, Colton, was going to go home. Now, did, did all of this happen? Well, we'll find out because first we start with Garrett's hometown. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and his family is an, an, has an agriculture business. Mm -hmm. So they have some money, I think. Back to the farm. <laughs> yeah. Um, she liked it. Huh? She did uh, like it a <laughs> lot. <laughs> and uh, but his family is was is very concerned about him only because of the divorce he went through. Yeah. It really sounds like he was really devastated he by was this. Wrecked. Yeah. And that was their biggest concern about that. And if you know, he's ready, which uh, he says he is. I mean, the family uh, seemed to really like her, but they asked tough questions, which mm -hmm. I think was good because if, you, if you've seen Garrett throughout the season, he has such a big smile on his face all the time. And doesn't he kind of seem a little bit delicate, though, at times like you watch based him, on the like, family, this guy's <laughs> a little kind of goofy in a way. It seems right. like his ego could get shattered any second. And rightfully so. Becca had a lot of hesitation going into this, saying, is his family really going to accept me? Right. And her, his mother is super protective yeah. of him. But in the end, she really likes Becca, as does the rest of the family. I'm not shocked by any of that, yeah. that um, they all really liked her uh, and they Honesty seems to be a theme that, that all the families talked about with her, which is interesting because that's her big thing is being honest with everyone. Right, and it's easy to like her. It's oh, just sure. hard to like the process and that there's other guys still in the picture. And, it's, you know, a lot of the family members echoed that. Right. For example, Garrett's sister lost it. She said, I just don't want to see you get hurt. That's the biggest concern for all of them is, yeah. is, tr is if they're going to get hurt or not. Yeah. Um, the next guy, who is now my second runner-up behind Blake. Really? Is, yes, is uh, we go to Jason's place of Buffalo, New York. He's very proud of Buffalo. In fact, he takes him to this world famous uh, Buffalo, Buffalo wing wings. place. Yeah, where the original Buffalo wings. And they actually did a, a wing eating contest, which <laughs> I think was, she was a great sport about it. She, she was. It, like, it was a lot of fun. And you really are seeing Jason really open up, and he's really such a fun guy and very genuine. And you meet uh, his parents and his brother and his brother's partner. And he really looks up to his brother and his brother-in-law right. because of the relationship they have, they're best friends. And so that's what he wants to, to see. Uh, and But right away when he walks in, her, his mother and father mm -hmm. both notice how happy he is right away. Like you can tell. For sure. There's one thing though. You say he's actually your second runner up, I would say that he's telling himself a lie about where he is with Becca, from what I can tell, from what I saw. Well, the one thing is, is he and, and uh, he talks, I believe, with his mother, like that, um where are you compared to the other relationships? And he said, you know, I was behind, but after they got through that one and one and second one and one, I think he feels he is catapulted to the front. Mm. And yet he's the only one as of right now that had not told her mm -hmm. how he really feels. And he's talking to his brother about how he feels and he's like, well, tell her that. Yeah. You need to tell her that. There's a short runway here. That's right. That's exactly what So when saying. they said goodbye, she, he said, I am insanely, madly, uh, wildly in love with you, which I, I too love. Too much, he, dude. And he's, he <laughs> says he doesn't little... say that lightly, which yeah. I do agree with that. Um, if he yeah. doesn't get picked, he could be possibly the next. You bachelor. think so? Well, he's I don't know. Lot, he's got a lot of personality. You know, the, his brother and his brother's partner were very supportive of it. His mom, though, you could tell her gut was saying Becca is not the one. Yeah. At least not at this stage, but right. It remains to be seen. He's still second in your book. Right now, we go to Colorado with Blake. Yeah who uh, is awesome. He takes her to his high school and we find out actually at his high school that years ago when he was in high school, his mom, his sister and him were there. His mom's a teacher. There was a school shooting mm -hmm, there mm -hmm. uh, and a student actually died. And he said it, it, it had Bailey. shaped him mm -hmm. on part of who he is today because that he realizes how precious life is. He's grateful for life and he doesn't take things for granted. Right or relationships, and I really do think that's why he has this positive outlook on life, and it was like, God, it just made you know, like learn more about him, and just, I love him more. Well, just think about how it shaped even the most recent incidents, like, exactly. you know, say in Parkland, for example, those students are gonna be affected for life. It's gonna shape right. the people that they are, so the fact that he let her into that, I think, uh, is huge. And Helps then he planned this 
huge surprise for her, takes her into the auditorium, huge crowd, and she freaks out because her very favorite singer, Betty Who, who I honestly had never heard of before. <laughs> I think a lot of people didn't no. know who she was. I mean, she was like fangirl. Like, she was so excited to yeah. see her. What a cool, cool surprise that Blake did for her, knowing that that's her favorite artist, arranging that to happen. Granted, yeah. you know, ABC help, but still, come sure. on. Sure, uh, sweet surprise. It was a big shock to see all those people there, too, cheering as soon as they walked in. For her, it must have been an adrenaline rush. And then we meet his family, and uh, and he tells his mom right away, you know, I've told her already, I'm in love with her. And she's like, that's crazy. Yeah, that's and then he said, you know, she asks him at the end of this, could you see yourself being engaged? And he said, yes. And again, she's like, that's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but she also talks to Becca about how devastated he was in this last breakup and about the the panic attacks he had. I mean, it was just as a very concerned mother, but she can really see that he loves her. She just doesn't know where Becca stands and she can't, and anyone she can't really say. Right, and Becca can't tell anybody that yet, but we did hear in an aside that Becca is just as taken with Blake as he is she, with her. Yes, but she has not told She's him not that, told which I think is, is good of her not to do. I, I agree with you. Yeah, you don't so, want to give him an unfair advantage over the other guys just yet. So another wonderful date. Yeah. So we have one more um, hometown date to go to, which is Colton. Now, we, we, we found out that Colton is a virgin, mm -hmm. but we also find out when he's now, he's also in Colorado. Um, but we find out that um, he's never brought a woman home. But before that, this is really cool. This is something I really love about Colton yeah. is he's very involved in children's hospitals. Oh, in fact, he has, he has a charity foundation that helps out children. So they go to the children's uh, hospital and, and hang out with these two adorable kids. And the interaction with both of them, you can tell that they both will be great parents. Oh, absolutely. It's so cool. Yeah, these adorable kids. Cystic fibrosis, I believe, is yes. what they have. And, and just watching the interactions warmed my heart. And it really is a reminder. I mean, I, I was watching it saying, maybe I could go do something like that. <laughs> I know. I mean, it was really neat to see. Wonderful. It was really neat to see those two interact and stuff. But then we go back to meet his family. Again, we find out he's never brought a woman home. And every, I mean, aunts and uncles, cousins, brothers, sisters, everybody is there. Uh, but really, it's his dad that has a very honest conversation. First, you know, Colton tells him, I was upfront with her about the whole Tia situation, which he's really proud of his son for doing that. But then he says to him, well, have you talked to, to Becca about her relationship with Ari and if she really is over all that, which I thought was a great question. Mm -hmm. And Colton hasn't, but his dad asks Becca that question. And he says to her, look, uh, if if you're not 100% sure that Colton's the one, I think you need to send him home now because I'd rather get him hurt now than more hurt and let on as we get closer to this. Yeah. And so if there's a doubt in her mind, basically, he was saying. So you go, okay, wow. But I think that her, his mom was sold on Becca, definitely. I think that, because she grilled her pretty good and got, I think, good responses back from Becca. And, real, and we, at the end of that, he comes out and tells her, I am, I'm in love with you. Four guys now have told her they're in love with her. Okay? And it wasn't enough that he did that. I mean, his father did plant that seed. If sure. you're not really, you know, in love with him yet, or you don't think he's the one, just let go of him. Sure. And so now, right before happened. the rose ceremony, uh, she meets up with her five former contestants, including Tia, yeah. who drops the bomb saying, so I still have feelings for Colton. Doesn't Yeesh. tell, doesn't say anything until that point, she doesn't know that Colton was still involved until she tells her. Yeah. So they go and talk aside, tells her, I still have feelings for him, and finding out that you met his family makes me sick to my stomach. I have to say, Becca had a poker face because I thought she handled it so well. Mm -hmm. She's like, I need some time by myself, and that's when you find out, like we, we, we would all be feeling. I'm mad, I'm upset, I'm angry, I'm confused. But she says, you know what, I'm not gonna let that weigh on my decision on what I'm going to do. Yeah. So you wonder, you go, okay, well, maybe she's like, well, screw it's past you, Tia. history. Tia. Yeah. You got your chance. Yeah. Now, now you're done for. But is this little girl group thing, is this a, a thing that's been in past seasons? Because I, I don't remember seeing this. No, not this, this close. But I think it, it's only because Tia had a link with Colton Might that be. they had that girl group. But I, know anyway. that, I know that they all form good friendships. Right. And maybe that's why, because they that knew that be. this, and of course. So Fast we go to the rose, rose ceremony. Yeah. Uh, uh, Blake gets the first rose, and then Jason gets the second rose. So now it's down to Garrett and Colton, and I was like, oh, I really had no idea where she was going to go. You didn't really? I, I, don't I know. knew. I thought, I thought it was too obvious, but the Garrett got the final rose, and she there sent Colton is. home. Goodbye, Colton. It was definitely uh, blindsided 
by that. I knew this was going to happen from the moment they were sitting in that park bench. When I saw her face, there was just something in her eyes mm -hmm. that told me he is not the one. And who knows, he could be around for other Bachelor shows, and we'll just have to see. I think the biggest but thing is, yeah, that he has not had relationships. He has not, and, and that might deter some folks. So, Leslie, as always, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Watch the next episode of The Bachelorette airing next Monday on Kega 9 at 7. Then tune into The Blend on Tuesday for a recap. And be sure to visit 1063thegroove.com to read Leslie's blog.